This is Victor Conti here for all you elite athletes and others that are looking for a great night's sleep and accelerating healing and tissue repair. ZMA5, sweet dreams. Hey, what's up everybody? Marcos Villegas here in Los Angeles being joined with Steve Rolls who is fighting Gennady Golovkin coming up June 8th in the big room at the Garden in New York. Congratulations on a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity to face a, a guy like Gennady Golovkin. Yes. Explain to me, how was the moment when Lou called you, said, hey man, it's, it's done, you got the fight? Uh, actually, I was, uh, I was driving to the store one night and my manager contacted me and he's like, uh, you know, I got some life changing news for you. And I was like, okay, really? And uh, when he dropped it on me, you know, I had to take a second to process it. But um, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was losing my mind, man. I was happy. Who'd you call right away, right after? Uh, you know what? I didn't call anybody, to tell you the truth. Actually, I had to keep it. I couldn't let anybody know because it wasn't official yet. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of kept it to myself. What was going on through your mind then when you had to stop and <laughs> had to drop everything yeah. that you're doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I just kind of like, you know, I gained myself, I put myself back together and I just like, I was just thinking about the opportunity, how I could capitalize, how much this could change my life and how long I've been working hard and um, waiting for an opportunity like this, so. You have been working a very long time waiting for an opportunity like this. Yeah. Uh, I read a little bit about it, your background and your bio. What does it mean to you to finally get this chance after maybe thinking about, man, you know what, maybe this isn't the right thing for me to do or, or this chance isn't ever going to come for me? Um, it's very satisfying, man. It's very relieving and it's very satisfying. And it, you know, it 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 gives you that, it gives you that feeling that you know what, all this is starting to the, the, the work out. You know what I mean? It's gonna pay off all this hard work that you've been investing in, in the gym for so so long. So, so you prior to this were also doing a lot of personal training and being a pro. Yeah. How is that balance like? Because I couldn't, because I know how much ded dedication it is to be a professional fighter yeah. and how much sacrifice it takes. And I couldn't imagine being able to juggle a full-time job on, on top of that? Um, you know what, the good thing about that was I was able to make my own hours. And it was like, you know, I, I did a lot of it in the boxing gym and stuff. So, you know, I love doing gym stuff. I'm always fit, I'm, I've always been an athlete. So it wasn't actually that hard. It would have been much harder if I would have actually got like a... Um, like some office job, like nine to five in a cubicle? <laughs> yeah, where I had to clock in every day and stuff like that. That would have been too hard, but I knew I couldn't do that and, and be able to fight on this level. So I did something that was, you know, accustomed to myself and I was able to, you know, still focus on boxing full time. So with this fight, you're gonna put that other stuff on the side, right? Or are you still gonna do oh, the no. PT stuff? No, no, no. This is this is 100% uh, Golovkin. It, no matter who I fight, when I got a, a fight coming up, it's it's strictly put everything else aside, and it's just full training camp. So what can you now incorporate, or you think you need to incorporate to? Uh, prepare yourself properly for a guy like Gennady Golovkin? Um, I just think we need, we're, we're working on bringing in the right sparring. Um, that's, that's basically it. We're, I'm always mentally strong. I'm obviously always mentally preparing as well. But uh, there's, a, there's a few guys that we're looking at bringing in that's, that I feel that's really going to help us um, for, for Golovkin. I know your past few fights have been at 168 pounds. This fight is at a, a catch weight at 164. Is that a difficulty at all for you? Uh, no, not at all. I've fought at 168 before. I fought it everywhere from one, uh, 160 to 168. So I don't feel that this is going to be a problem for me at all. Do you think that's an advantage for you coming in, knowing that you face naturally bigger guys and you've been doing so consistently? Um, yeah, it could be. I mean... The last time I fought at 168 or, or close to it was, was quite a while ago. But, um, you know, I, I, no, I don't think it's going to be a big advantage, to tell you the truth. It, if it is, I mean, he's got so much experience and stuff like that, I think he'll level it out, level it out that way. So, What do you make of Golovkin at, at this point, in your personal opinion, on the real? What do you think is left of Golovkin? I think he has a lot left. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, personally, I feel that I'm training for the best Gennady Golovkin. Um, people been saying that he's been declining slightly, but I mean, he just took a break. He might have rejuvenated, man. He might feel a little bit better. So we're all, we, we got to prepare for, for the best Gennady Golovkin um, possible for June 8th. How do you like all this uh, attention, all this press, this media? How are you taking all that in? I like it, man. You know, it's something that I... <laughs> it gets addicting, huh? Yeah, it's something that I've, I've prepared for, too. You know, it's something I said, listen, when you get to this point, you know, it's going to be a lot of cameras and stuff in your face. So it's, it's good with me, you know. I've prepared myself for it. If it gets too much, you know, I just turn my phone off and just kind of do my own thing. 
I know the fan reception to this fight hasn't been the most positive. What do you make of the reception and some of the things that have been saying by the fans out there online? Well, I feel that if I was fighting anybody else besides Golovkin or Golovkin or Canelo, um, I think I would have got more of a fair shake. Like, I think it would have been like, okay, let's see what this guy's about. He's undefeated. But because it's gonna, uh, a guy like Golovkin and they want to see him in there with certain names, well, they're going to start attacking him and I'm going to catch uh, the flack for it as well. So um, it's negative, a lot of negative stuff, but I don't pay in, into it because I know who I am and uh, I know what I can do and what I'm capable of. But that has to get frustrating, right? Every Thing you check online on social media you're seeing all this stuff pop up well it is upsetting man just because i'm not like that like i mean when you see somebody it's not like i went out calling golufkin out and saying oh whatever i deserve it over this guy or whatever the opportunity was presented to me and for anybody that has opportunity presented presented to them for so long and they've been working so hard i ain't gonna crap on a man that takes a takes advantage of it to support a better life for his family or you know get closer to the dreams that he's had forever that he's that he's been working hard for to get to so Basically, the crap on somebody for, for taking an opportunity, that's just not my style. What do you think you can bring to the table in this fight that Golovkin may have not seen, or, or do you think it is unique that you bring in your arsenal? Um, you know what, just the fact that I'm a well-rounded fighter, but I'm unknown. I don't think Golovkin or anybody's really seen a lot of me, so they really don't know what to expect. And I'll tell you the truth, even with the footage there is out there, I mean, that's not nowhere near my best. I feel that I'm the type of fighter that rises to the occasion. Um, the better the opposition, the better, you know, that comes out of me. I know you guys are from different cities, but don't have Drake come out with you. Don't take a picture with him. Don't do anything associated with him because that's 100% Mr. L is going to come and yeah, visit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not until after the fight. Yeah. 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 Steve, thank you so much. I really appreciate a good chat with you. This man right here fighting Gennady Golovkin coming up June 8th at MSG.